In this video, I'm gonna show you how to play a praise chorus by Jimmy Eat World off of their album, Bleed American. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if Jimmy Eat World was your favorite pop punk band. And let's dive in. This song's gonna be in drop D tuning. Let's take a look at the intro. The intro is just gonna be octave swiping, seventh fret, sixth string. And because we're in drop D tuning, we'll also include seventh fret, fourth string. And we mute the fifth string in between them. Okay, and the pattern is this. Down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. After four bars, the second guitar kicks in, and this guitar will play this, this chord, same right hand rhythm, and that chord, seventh fret, fourth string, ninth fret, third string, open second, open first. And then we kick into the first verse. First verse is gonna be this A power chord. Alternating with fourth fret, sixth string, drop D power chords. So that's just barring the fourth fret, sixth, fifth, and fourth string. It's gonna be alternating the two chords. Right hand rhythm is just straight eighth notes. There will be some bass movement here. So the bass will be playing different notes occasionally, but this is all the guitar part is. And then we kick into this chorus section, and the chorus is gonna break down a little bit, so we're just gonna be palm muting now, and it's gonna sound like this. Okay, so it'll keep repeating that part. So what we're doing, palm muting with the right hand, we're hitting an open, Drop D power chord twice, and then rest, and then three times. So it's. Then we hit once and then change chords. So we'll move to the second fret now, and then to the fourth fret. We spend some extra time on the fourth fret, and then we repeat. So two hits, three hits. One hit, then change chords. Two hits, three hits, one hit, change chords. Now at this point, we'll go four, two, open. Then back to second fret. And then we kick back into that, kind of the intro riff. So when we kick back into that intro riff, we just play an abbreviated version. So we have 
This octave swiping going on again. Just two bars and then second guitar comes in two bars. And then we're right into the second verse. Exactly the same as the first. After the second verse, we play a second chorus, same as the first. At this point, we enter the interlude section of the song. So here the chord structure will change, and it'll sound like this. So for that part, we're starting with an A power chord. So it's open fifth string. And we're going to second fret, sixth string, drop D power chord, fourth fret, sixth string, and then back to that A, open fifth string. And the right hand rhythm is like this. Down, 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 up, up, down, down, down. So we'll play several bars of just that part, and then the second guitar will kick in, and it'll play that same chord that it plays in the intro. And same right hand rhythm as what the rhythm guitar is doing. So we'll play those chords throughout that crimson and clover part, and then we kick into the last chorus. Now the last chorus, instead of palm muting, we're gonna let things ring out, so it'll sound like this. Okay, so that's the same chord structure as we were using before. Okay, but now we're just letting the chords ring out. So we have an open, sixth string, second fret, fourth fret. Right hand rhythm, down, 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 up, down, up, up, down, down, up, down, up. Here we go. And so we just play one hit rest, one hit rest, fourth fret, second fret, open. Second time through. So the first time through, we went. Second time through, we're just playing them as normal. So we keep playing through that section for a pretty long time. Listen to the record for the changes. And then coming out, so we've been playing. So we move to this A power chord. Play this A power chord. Second guitar comes in with this chord. Same chord as before. The song ends with the second guitar here and the rhythm guitar here. Was Bleed American the best Jimmy Eat World album? Comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me, and remember, hug the gingers in your life, because we do, in fact, have souls.